Part 12. The Start Button and Start Menu Clicking the Start button brings up the Start Menu. The Start Menu gives you access to programs, documents, websites, and tools for changing the Windows settings. The Start Menu also provides an entry point into the built-in Help program for Windows. In the left column of the Start Menu, different programs are displayed. Usually, there are two programs at the top separated by a faint gray line from all of the other programs that are displayed. These programs are a web browser, such as Mozilla Firefox, and an email server, such as Microsoft Outlook. In the right column of the menu, you will see many handy shortcuts, such as Documents, where you can access all files and documents you have saved in your computer. In the right column of the menu, you can also find the shortcuts for pictures and music. All of these shortcuts are very useful for when you're trying to find a quick way to access your personal files. You can also quickly get a glimpse of the last documents that you opened by going to Recent Documents on the right column of the menu. There's also the Control Panel, which helps you adjust personal settings on your computer, such as Users, Windows, Mouse Pointers, etc. You can also install and test a new printer or access your devices with the Devices and Printers button. From the Start menu, you can also access the programs on your computer. You can access Accessories. Some programs in here will be the calculator and the notepad. The calculator is available at any time if you need one while using the computer. And the notepad works as a very basic word processing unit. You can access games. There are numerous games that can be played on the computer. Most of them are card games such as Solitaire, Free Cell, and Hearts. You can also access applications to help you in creating different types of documents. This includes word processing documents such as Microsoft Word, Word processing is like using a typewriter, only slicker. Word processing applications enable you to type, edit, format, view and print documents such as letters, memos, and proposals. You can also create professional looking documents using advanced formatting features such as tables, graphics, and columns. You can also access spreadsheet programs such as Microsoft Excel. Spreadsheets typically are rows and columns of numbers and formulas. Spreadsheet programs enable you to organize, manipulate, analyze, and chart numerical data. For example, you can create charts, solve what-if problems, conduct statistical analysis of data, and perform a variety of other activities. Spreadsheets are often used for summaries, forecasts, and budgets.